hello hi everybody today I'm gonna try to solve an RLC circuit like this one and what I will do that first I will solve it by using the Laplace transform to get the answer in time domain and then I will plug uh, the values of t into the function to get a graph then I tried then I will try to verify the graph uh, from a software called pSpice it is a simulation software of electrical circuits so let's start by this suppose I have a function like this as I have but I will uh, first of all I want to see that say that here it is the circuit the value of R is 2 the value of L is uh, uh, 1 and the value of C is 1 by 2 farad and the full resource that we have is AC source and is sine T so it is changing with respect to sine so it's a sine source uh, after solving it uh, uh, with Laplace transform I will get the Laplace like this um, let's see, 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 see where is Z here it is okay so here is Laplace I will say so I will say S Y M S S symbolically using it then I will say here is mass function then I will say that take, they take the inverse lap of this function Z and see what it gives me so here is my function uh, now I will take the values of t first of all I will read the symbol s and I will get t and I will say that t is equal to 0 to 100 then I will uh, copy this function no it's not working this way let me do this again take the i the plus of the function z okay here it is and then i will say that my z my y y function is equal to this and uh, so here it is and i will try to sort this function into y y variable it's saying that there's something wrong with it so dot product uh, dot product dot product okay as you can see the t is, is equal to from 0 to 100 I will say the plot the graph of this time on x-axis and my y by function on y-axis so let's see whatever graph I get I will get this type of graph as you can see over here so, and as you can see the behavior of this graph is sinusoidal and is increasing now let's try to verify this thing in MATLAB Simulink uh, sorry Simulink software here drawn circuit here is a resource it has the properties everything is equal to 1 the, the AC value amplitude is equal to 1 and the frequency is also 1 here is our inductor its value capacitor and resistor I will run the simulation and ask it to find the transient response respect to time and I want to see here is or graph so if I compare this graph with the graph of MATLAB it just have almost everything same from this point to onward points in time domain and here is a time domain also but the difference is over here as the function increasing and going to point maybe point two five maybe point two point zero here the function is increasing so much and the function is increasing less otherwise you can see the peaks are just the same as in p spice so i may have had i might have given the values might be wrong to p spice so that i am unable to get the initial wave wrong so as you can see the initial wave over here and uh, here's my graph so it's mean that if i have a function uh, i will just put it into matlab like this and i will give it time so what will MATLAB does, does it that it will plug all the times one two three four five in this function where river is t then they assign the cosine at the exponential of the function then I will take it from to as uh, saying that it, 
the inner dimension of the matrix not uh, agreed so what I will do I will do dot product where weird explanation and sign are getting multiplied with each other so in this equation only one sine and cosine exponential are cosine exponential are getting multiplied so what I will do that I will plug in a dot over here to do dot product so here was the my answer and is fluctuating almost between 3 1 to 1 if I'm not wrong and here's the values of t then I said to plot the graph as, as it did and here's my graph and I can verify this thing uh, by piece by that it will automatically generate the function uh, and they and then plug in the values of t and give me the answer as here it is now I will try to verify the circuit by the tool in MATLAB called Simulink here I have drawn the circuit all to all uh, all of these tool uh, all of these elements are present in sim power systems so you can get all these things from here the sources the elements uh, this RLC branch they are in parallel and RLC branches which are in series this not this one this is RLC load this all this is RLC branch so we'll get over here don't forget to add the power GUI without this the simulation will not run set the parameters peak voltage up to 1 volt 60 Hertz frequency is okay then we will add the most important thing the values of resistance inductance and capacitance as we did before now we will add resistance 2 inductance 1 and capacitance 0 0.5 farad put the voltmeter because we want to take the output from here and then we will put the output of the voltmeter to the scope to see the answer here's my time point one second and let's see the wave as you can see the wave is almost like as we have seen in P spice or by solving the differential equation and taking the Laplace transform and then getting the answer in time domain putting the values of T and plotting its graph so it does all and as you can see these curves that we have seen them before so here is another method to, method to check the answer what we did in P spice and by solving the di differential equation the beauty of this tool is that just plug in the things in graphical mode and it will calculate all things and show you the output in scope thanks for watching